Uh, I am back you guys and right now the Packers are about one more pick away. Buffalo is on the clock at 213. We're picking at 214 with two picks in the sixth round. So I will be here for the next two picks and we'll see who the Packers are going to go this time for their next two picks. And then there's the last pick which will be in the seventh round. We'll see what's going to go on for that one. I realize that these all these videos are pretty redundant and a lot probably don't really care too much about what's going on with these late round picks. I mean, who knows all the who knows these prospects? But who knows what we might we might get some late round gems here that could turn out to be a late round gem like Aaron Jones was when he was picked in the 5th round a few years ago back in 2017. It was one heck of a and also, remember, James Starks was chosen in the sixth round in 2010, and he turned out to be a really good running back, so maybe this could be a sixth-round running back here. And, and there are some pretty good running backs that are here that are still available. There's J.B. and Hawkins and Jermar, and Jermar Jefferson. Those guys could be a possibly be on the table, so we will see who the Packers are going to pick after Buffalo makes after Buffalo makes their pick. So far, their pick is in, and it hasn't been brought up yet. <sighs> I, I'm kind of hoping we go back to the offense here and maybe look for something there. A wide receiver would make sense. I would like to have another receiver just in there for some competition, get some guys for camp. Um, you know, get some get some competition in there. So the Buffalo Bills made their pick, and they took a uh, Rashad Wild Goose, the Wisconsin cornerback. Um, since we already have two corners, it doesn't make much sense to go for another corner. However, we could triple dip. The Packers have been known to triple dip in past drafts, so who knows what this is going to be here. I'm hoping we go back to the offense with these uh, next picks. And the pick is in, so here we go. And the pick is in, but uh, we are waiting. It's Cole Van Leenen out of Wisconsin. Offensive tackle. All right, there we go. Yeah. Love it. We got a Wisconsin Badger staying here in the Badger State, drinking some beer and eating brats. This draft has gone really well. Go Pack Go. Aaron, please come home. The Broncos are on the clock at 229. We got 220, so the pick is in for the Broncos, and we'll see who the Packers are going to pick next. I wouldn't mind a running back. Wouldn't mind Jermar Jefferson. Wouldn't mind a wide receiver again. Wouldn't hurt to double dip at that area. That would be funny if they, they if it was a, if this was a punter. Uh, Twitter will explode if we take a punter. But J.K. Scott needs some competition, so it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, da, 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 The Cole Van Lanen pick was interesting. I mean, he's a local Wisconsin guy and everything like that. I want to touch up more on him. Is that he projects to play guard because he lacks the uh, he lacks the length, has short arms. He may have to project to play guard. And uh, right now we're loading up on the offensive line, making sure everything is nice and intact in there to keep that offensive line uh, very much full of depth because you never know who can go out with injuries. He'll compete for the likes of Simon Steps, Runyon, and our and our new rookies too. So, uh, yeah, Royce is going to get a little bit of competition too. But I hope he plays more at right tackle to develop there. So, Van Leenen, he'll have to duke it out with you guys in camp and hopefully make the roster. I expect him to kind of be a developmental guard. He may have to spend some time on practice squad because there's only so much room for interior offensive linemen. 
and the Broncos haven't made their pick yet, or at least it, they, they haven't said the pick yet. It's in, so that means we're probably on the clock, and we've already probably made our pick too. And the Broncos took Seth Williams, wide receiver, out of Auburn. That was a guy that was very much our prototype Packer size. Big, big height, weight, speed guy. I uh, wouldn't have minded Williams, but I think we can probably get better than him. Williams is not really all that athletic either, so the Packers like to go for athletic guys and... Uh, So we'll see you who the Packers go. I'm kind of hoping for running back, wide receiver, something like that. I think offensive lineman. So let's stop here. I we're we're good now. I will. I wouldn't mind going back to the defense. Jacoby Stevens is still available. He's somebody that I sort of like, but I feel pretty strongly that that the inside linebacker group is kind of a little bit we got we got a lot of guys at inside linebacker some that are not that particularly great or anything like that like like summers burks um and the pick is in for the packers so here it is we'll find out who it is Put it out already. Por favor. Isaiah McDuffie, the uh, linebacker from Boston College. Okay. This is good value. This one's pretty good here. Um, I guess we got a linebacker. It's not, it's not Moses or Jacoby Stevens, but uh, it's a linebacker. He'll help out. He'll be able to play on some help on, out on some special teams. Pretty athletic. I can't say I know too much. I haven't dug that deep into linebackers this time, but um, this one's fine. I'll take it. Okay, everybody. The Packers' last pick is in at the seventh round at 256. This is the last one. I thought I, thought I would combine these sixth and seventh round picks just to make it into one video. After all, these are late round picks. I'm pretty sure a lot of you won't watch this video because late round picks are a lot less exciting. But I would like to thank everybody that has stuck around and watched these videos for my reactions to each and every one of the Packers draft picks. It's been a lot of fun to watch the draft and see everything unfold. A lot of, a lot of surprises have happened and a lot of not so surprising things have happened. A lot of things that have, uh, have, that have I've seen expected and... The expectations for the Packers draft picks have been pretty good. And the pick for the Packers is, yes, it's Kylan Hill, Mississippi State running back. All right, there we go. Last pick is a really good one. There we go. There was all this, I was hoping for a running back or a wide receiver with this last one. Uh, there we go. There we go. We got a... We got another offensive player to help out with uh, the running game, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. And now we got a good trio of backs here. Because Again, thanks for everyone for hanging out and being able to react to these uh, draft picks with me. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll catch you guys later for another video at some point, whenever I make an analysis pick on... on uh, these Packers draft picks for an analysis and I am out. Go Pack, go.